Signs are a common sight during election campaigns, but this one is a little different. Instead of promoting a candidate, this sign and others like it are encouraging people to vote for none of them. Politics professor Mario Levesque says there are many reasons someone may want to do this. Maybe they don't like the, their candidates, maybe they don't like the uh, political parties and the, their previous decisions they've taken. Maybe they also don't like the uh, um, election system. The practice is legal. Election Canada considers them rejected ballots, which it tracks. Levesque says it may be a better option than just staying home. If you just stay at home, that means you're disengaged and you don't care. If you go there, you're saying, and spoil it, you're saying, we want better, you can do better, let's see better before we actually want to vote for you. There's no way to formally decline a ballot or vote none of the above in the federal election, but that option exists in some provinces. Elections Canada is aware of the signs in Moncton and says so far it hasn't heard of similar signs in other cities. They first appeared late last week. I think that's the right. They're undecided, so they have the right to just, uh, how do I say, blank their vote? Well, myself personally, I'd vote nothing, most definitely. I would say that I don't really understand what they're getting at with the vote blank sign. If someone's choosing not to vote, I don't think it's necessary to have a sign to remind them of that fact. The city of Moncton doesn't know where the signs came from, but according to its bylaws, election signs are allowed as long as they don't obstruct cars or pedestrians. Alex Abdoahab, Global News, Moncton.